I look like that. Three hours after I've gotten the vaccine. I got the Pfizer one. My name is Jasmine and I make all types of lifestyle vlogs so in today's video I wanted to make a day in the life vlog because I know you guys really enjoy those. If you haven't already followed me on my social media it's going to be at Jasmine Nurse. I did pick up an 8 hour shift. Sorry I scratched that 4 hour shift. It's going to really eat too much this morning. Normally I work 8 to 8.30 um, and I already work 2 8 to 8.30s and I'm working another 2. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, so I decided to just pick up a four hour. Um, I'm also going to get the COVID vaccine today, which is pretty crazy. Is it safe to get it if you already got COVID? According to research, you can still get the COVID vaccine as long as you're not showing symptoms, and it just has to be 14 days of the first positive test. But yeah, I'm gonna be getting my COVID vaccine later on today. I think things are getting really crazy right now, but I think something to consider. Even though we are having a hell of a time in the hospital, we're still fortunate enough to continue to work and to have a good paying job. Especially during these trying times for a lot of people, they're losing their business, losing their jobs, and um, I'm fortunate to still be able to stick around every day and do, do what it is that I do. <laughs> Whatever. I am running out of scrub tops because I'm working so much nowadays. Um, if anybody wants to um, send me some scrubs. Also, I have never in my life heard so many sirens. This many sirens in my area. In this area, like you'll hardly ever ever hear. Also nowadays, I think it's kind of. I'm gonna shout out my playlist. So this is a playlist that I always listen to before work. It's called. When you need Jesus. Here at work right now, it's about 7.42. I'm just really tired. Yeah, because it's my third day in a row and I get really, really tired on my third day. Four hours today, really short shift. Um, I'm excited just to be done. <laughs> What's really nice, and I'm gonna be really transparent with everyone, is that California with UNAC have an incentive pay. Although you don't get hazard pay, it's still like something but it requires you to work more than you already do. So yeah, it kind of sucks that we don't get like heroes pay. Take what you can get, right? Um, I think I'm gonna eat a little bit because I don't know if I'm gonna get. I also wanna say, I've been having really critical patients lately. I don't know if it's just like their standards for ICU are different here. Every single shift since I went off on my own, I've had an ICU and I'm just like, what the heck is going on? But still like, that's a lot, a lot of ICU patients, which is why we're so, freaking swamped. So this is our pixels where we pull all our meds. You hit remove med. Out. I'm blind. And close. And on to the next. I look like a fucking duck. Anyway, I found the feeding tube. Okay, so I finished my shift. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put my stand. I am gonna get COVID tested and then I'm gonna get my COVID back. There are only like 10 people here. That's the camera died, which is why I'm filming on here. God, my hair looks like shit. Perfect, so I'll meet you right there where that blue line is. Got it. Hold. Have you been with us before? Yes, I have. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just swap to the back of your throat first. Sure. And then stick your tongue out a little bit more. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Move your both nostrils and then go ahead and just pull it down. Good. Okay. Okay, there you go. So results should be into your kp.org in about four days. They've been okay. averaging about 48 hours. Oh my god, I'm sobbing that hurt her up. <laughs> Bruh, look at my eyes, I'm crying. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get my vaccine now. And I'll let you know how I feel after it. I probably shouldn't have worn this. It's a long safe shirt. It's too late now to turn around and back again. I made my bed and I 
finally got it after like waiting like 30 minutes. Long, long line for people who wanted to get the vaccine, which I'm glad. It made me really happy that, especially with the older generations, that they were still willing to get the vaccine because I know some people like are really skeptical about it or believing in science. I am gonna go work out a little bit with Alex and then we're gonna go get some food. We're gonna drink some soju and get some chicken and beer and I'm super excited. I'm vlogging today. Oh, you are? Oh, hello, hello. Why are you? Uh, My hair looks what is, going what to is the, the vlog gym. about this day? Is it about getting a uh, vaccine? Sure. Okay. My vlogs are just my life. I haven't arrived. I'm sorry, I'm much, not much later. I'm changed. Alex is going to pick up our food at our favorite place, Legends Chicken. And we're gonna have a movie night and drink soju and drink beer. And I'm so excited. In terms of the vaccine, um, I got the Pfizer one and it was um, the second dose 21 days from now. They said 17 to 21 days, um, and that's what it is estimated for. And if you've gotten COVID already, you can get the vaccine basically 14 days after you test positive. And it's been like three hours after I've gotten the vaccine, and I'm just really hungry. I've been moving this arm around. That's why we went to the gym. I wanted to move it so that it wouldn't be so sore tomorrow, because like the flu shot, the more you move it, the less sore it is. So... Yeah, I will keep you all posted on the, um... Ah! Alex has the food! Oh. What'd we get? Boobies? Uh, chicken chicken and, wing soju. and soju. No soju, just beer. Soju is... Food! Are you so excited? I'm very excited. Wow, are these glass noodles recording? Okay, so now it's a little while later. We're gonna get some boba now. It's about 7.30. So, we need a little pick-me-up. A matcha soy from Seven Leaves. And I got a jasmine. Alex got, I got a jasmine. That one's got like hella caffeine. Well, they both have hella caffeine. Yeah, I, was, I don't know what you're talking about. Matcha has a lot of caffeine. Oh, it's good. Can you try it? This order is large. <laughs> order is large, Jane. This is and not. only 75 cents more. My favorite. Oh. Papa John's. Ooh, we're cooking brekkie. Good morning, everyone. Now we're cooking breakfast. We have some eggs, bacon, and then we're gonna put some cheese and make it um, a burrito. That's about 7.30. I'm such a here and we're gonna- Good again. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it. And burrito, yummy. And Alex still needs to make it. I cut out a lot of my tortilla palette at them. I'm going to unbox my packages that I got from Fermu, which is this glasses company. It just is not sponsored at all. I bought two different glasses. I feel like every time I buy from them, their packaging changes. So the first one, ooh, this one's cute. Cute. I feel like. I can finally see better. <laughs> really fragile. Um, it has like these cute little daisies on the side and it's like this brownish gray. I think this one I would use at home. I wouldn't use it at work because these. And the next one, I believe this is the clear one. And this looks really similar to the one that I already have, but oh, it's really loose. I don't know if I want to actually keep this one. The frame itself is a lot smaller, but I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of these. The blocking, the blue light blocking. I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of these ones, so I don't know how I feel about that. So a while back, I had received scrubs from Fit Scrubs. They're just like these super comfy, stretchy material. And they actually sent me their navy blue and their baby blue here. I actually have the baby blue right now. This is the one they sent me, and it's super comfy. So I decided to purchase some of my own. I bought the one in black. I was gonna get the jogger version, but I kind of just like the straight leg. I feel like that one just fits me a lot better. Probably wear these tomorrow for work. So I'm wearing the same exact outfit, so nobody come for me. I wanted to talk a little bit about the COVID vaccine. Sorry, my room is a mess. I really need to clean that. I wanted to come on here and talk about the COVID vaccine because I know a lot of people 
are skeptical, are just like contemplating should we get it, should we not get it, is it too risky? Um, so as you know, I did get my vaccine yesterday. Um, and as you also know, I also had COVID last month. So I did come up with a post that I tried to like break down some of the facts that I was personally curious about in my Instagram post. I'm gonna show my Instagram post here so that you can actually see it. Um, but although I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some fast facts here, I would strongly encourage you and anyone else who may be contemplating getting this um, to do your own research as well. So, um, with the COVID vaccine, although you do have antibodies after getting exposed to COVID and having it and recovering, you are covered for around 90 days according to research. Um, but you are also able to get the COVID vaccine 14 days after your positive test and being asymptomatic. So I strongly encourage you to look into that even if you've gotten COVID. I know a lot, a lot of you have, which is really sad and hard to deal with. But um, if you want to protect yourself later on, because you can still be reinfected after you get COVID. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. So. I was scared because I was like, oh, I'm still like, I'm 23 years old, I didn't want to get the vaccine because what if it messes with like my fertility, with my genetics, I have a kid, if I want to have kids in the future, like how is that going to affect me? So the mRNA never comes into contact with your DNA, which therefore prevents it from altering your genetics. So that was my biggest concern because, you know, having kids later on in the future, that's like something to also consider. I wish I'd gotten the anti-glare. Um, another thing, I feel like I look like a man now. <laughs> Hold on, let me check these off. Another thing to consider, it's not a live virus. It doesn't mess with your genetics according to research. And I know I'll, my other concern was like mRNA vaccines have never been given before, which is true. It's a fairly new technology. Although we've never rolled out mRNA vaccines, we have research done mRNA vaccines for literally decades. They've used it in flu vaccines, rabies, and they've tested it multiple, multiple times. So although it's never been on the market, it's something that's been tested for years and years to come. Um, and yeah, those are just some facts that I personally found. Um, I was more curious about why is it so new? Why haven't we had mRNA vaccines? Is it going to mess with my genetics, my fertility? Um, and then in terms of side effects, so the only thing that I personally had, especially when I was sleeping last night, is like my arm was really, really sore. So it kind of feels like the flu vaccine where they put it right in your deltoid and it like really hurts. And I even worked out after thinking that that would help, but it didn't really affected it still feels really really sore for anyone who is able to get the vaccine i strongly recommend you do your research and to consider getting it yeah anyway today is my day off i have no idea what i'm gonna do today i'm just gonna edit this video clean my room um and get ready for my three-day stretch so i worked on monday tuesday and i picked up um like four hours on wednesday and then i'm working friday saturday sunday i want to say that i'm so much more energized now that I'm on day shift, although I get similar, like I get like six hours, seven hours, eight hours of sleep, I feel so much more energized sleeping with my, like going with my circadian rhythm as opposed to being against it. I don't know if that even makes any sense. I would work just one night and I would just be dead tired. I would be dead tired for like two days after and it just took such a big hit on me. Um, but now that I'm on days, I feel like I'm able to pick up so many more shifts because I actually have some sort of energy and I think this shift is just a lot nicer because you like ease into it and then it gets super, super busy at the end. Although my job is really, really challenging, um, I do feel like every day I'm actually making somewhat of an impact. You know, I used to think of it as my job is just my job and I just need to get everything done and things get hectic. I like sit down and I like and reflect like these aren't or not working with machinery. We're working with people, and especially during these times where we're literally going out of ratio, going crazy, running out of beds, running out of ventilators. Um, I remember the day before I had gotten COVID or learned that I had gotten COVID, um, I was at work. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I talked to this patient and she's like, I'm just really bummed out. And I was like, what does that mean? And when I got COVID, I, I knew exactly what she meant. And I'm glad I took the time to talk with her because I felt exactly the way she felt. And I think that instilled a certain I think that instilled a sort of empathy in myself in treating COVID patients because I myself felt that isolation, felt like that sadness that they also felt. But yeah, there's my spiel for the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my seven leaves, edit a little bit and enjoy my day off before I work a hell more, a hell of a lot more shifts. Um, but anyway, I wanted to just say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe. I know so many of you are struggling with COVID, your family getting COVID. I hope you guys are all doing a lot better. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. Who, but if you don't already follow me on my social media, you can always message me at Jazziners. It does take me a while to get back to you a lot of times because it shows up as a message request, but I do eventually <laughs> respond to my messages. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next vlog.